Hello guys, this is Sikhna Genuine, and today I'm going to show you a new method of how to remove or bypass the FRP Google account. So first off, what you have to do is, is to download this file. Once you have downloaded this file, install it and reboot your system. And after that, launch this application, and then press more, and make sure to remove any ports on your computer. So after you do that, then press reinstall driver. USB driver. Press yes and wait for a couple of seconds. Once that is done, reboot your computer again and that should fix your computer for not recognizing your device. Now what you have to do is, once you have installed Samsung drivers on your computer and reboot it, download this file which is going to be on the description. Now just double tap on it and then press yes. Make sure that you remove any cable that is associated with your PC or computer, laptop, whatever. Press next, 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 and install. Once that is done, just press uncheck this box and then press finish. Once you have installed real term, what you have to do is, is to launch real term, then make sure your phone is connected to the computer using your USB cable. And make sure you are on Wi-Fi page. Now what you have to do on your computer is to go to device manager, then go to modems, Samsung to mobile properties modem, then here you will identify your port number. Once you know your port number then go to this window right here and make sure half duplex is checked. Then go to ports and make sure your port corresponds to as shown on device manager then press change now go to send and then paste the code which is going to be on the description below now make sure your device display is turned on then simply press send ACI ASCII if in case it didn't work it shows just the green code AT and then it means your phone is not properly responding. So you can either change the USB cable or the best solution would be to restart your phone. Make sure to remove the cable and then restart your phone. Once that is done, simply press sort, then make sure you are on Wi-Fi page. Now connect your phone to the computer using a USB cable. Once that is done, right click on real term, run as administrator, press yes. Then on display check half duplex, on ports make sure it is like yours, so let me just relaunch it because it wasn't detecting the port, press yes, then half duplex, then go to port, don't have to ch change anything here, then here what you have to do is, is to copy the first code, and then paste it here, then make sure your phone's display is turned on, press send, and then you should see the OK sign. Once you see the OK sign, copy the second code and then paste it right over here. Let me copy that again. Then paste it right over here. Now make sure your phone display is turned on and then press send ASCII. You will see that you are calling someone. What you have to do with this, very important guys, is to disconnect and then immediately press create con contact. Once you do that, press device, and then scroll down until you see scan business card. Press download. Now press agree. Then press search engine and type ES file explorer.
now what you have to do is you need to sign in with your Samsung account. If you don't have your Samsung account, you can sign it up using your Gmail account. Okay, let me just sign in quick. Okay, I'll just signed in. Now press install button. Accept and download. Once it's installed, press open, then decline, double tap, tri triple tap I mean, then press cancel, you don't want to update it. Now go to, now press this box right there and go to favorites, then press add. Now what you have to type is tiny URL tinyurl.com slash technofrp1 then you can name it whatever you want once you have done that you can press add if you cannot see properly the link is going to be on the description so press add once that's done then press this blue box right there then press root now you should see this window then simply press download and wait for a couple of seconds then simply press open file settings then scroll down until you find unknown sources press ok and install once you have installed the development settings press open then you should see your settings now press on lock screen and security and make sure that unknown sources is enabled press ok once that is done then what you have to do is, is to press other security settings and then scroll down until you find device administrator then make sure this option is deactivated now go back and then go back again find my mobile and then what you have to do is, is to input your Samsung account password not your Gmail account so let me just do that very quick once that is done make sure that both of these options are enabled after that just go back back then scroll down until you find backup and reset then scroll down then press factory data reset press reset again erase everything and input your Samsung account password again once that is done leave your phone alone and let it do its job Once you are in this screen, what you have to do is, is to press sort, then connect your internet if you have any. So. Once you input your password for Wi Fi, uncheck these boxes, press next, agree. Once that is done, press no thanks, or you can press copy Google accounts if you want. Now input, or you can skip for now, I'm gonna skip it, skip. And here we go guys, it is fully functional and it's unlocked on your device.